All right, so to start off um, this problem, we're given a lot of things. I'll go ahead and start by underlining our given information. And it's asking us to find the molecular formula. Um, so this information here, it's found to contain 82.66% carbon and 17.34% hydrogen. I'm pretty sure um, when they add up to 100, the percentages, uh, this means that uh, you're going to be using 82.66 grams carbon somewhere down the line and then 17.34 grams hydrogen somewhere down the line yeah. okay so let's go ahead and convert um 158 milliliters to liters giving us point 158 liters and let's go ahead and convert everything else into the units that we need so millimeters mercury we need to convert that to ATM and uh, 25 degrees Celsius plus 273 which is a conversion factor in order to convert it to Kelvin it's gonna give us 298 Kelvin and uh, let's go ahead and convert 556 millimeters mercury. Conversion factor is a 1 ATM over 760 millimeters mercury. Which gives us 0.732 ATM. Okay, so now let's go ahead and convert um, our grams of carbon and hydrogen into moles. So let's go ahead and start with carbon. Carbon has a molar mass of 12 for every one mole. And then from that, we get 6.83 moles of carbon. Um, let's go ahead and do it with uh, hydrogen as well. Oops, too close. So the molar mass of hydrogen is just uh, 1.008, giving us 6.83. No, that's all right. That's that one. <laughs> giving us. 17.2 moles. All right, and from here, um, in order to find the empirical formula, we have our moles. So to find the empirical formula, uh, you write down your elements with the subscript, like so, and then you divide by the smallest subscript, which is CH 2.5, but we can't have a subscript of, uh, that's not an integer, so we're going to multiply by 2. And this here is our empirical formula, but it's asking for the molecular formula of the compound. So let's go ahead and work at that. So to find the 
molecular formula of the compound. We're going to use PV equals NRT. And we're going to replace N with moles over molar mass. And you can derive this, and I'll show you how off to the side here. So molar mass is equal to grams divided by moles. You just switch it, moles. And then moles is equal to N. Gram is the same thing as mass. Therefore, you get this. N is equal to mass divided by molar mass. So I just substitute that. And we're solving for the molar mass specifically. So once again, we're gonna do algebra and then um, isolate the molar mass. There we go. And now we can go ahead and plug in all of our numbers. So let's go ahead and start. Um, let's look at the question one more time. All right, so it's given us 0.275 grams. That's gonna be our mass. And then R, of course, is our constant, and the constant is 0 0.082026 liters times ATM, Kelvin times mole. Temperature, we found that to be 298 Kelvin. And then our pressure, we found it to be 0.73 ATM. 0.732 ATM. And then our volume, uh, 0.158 liters. That's what we found. Okay, so from here, we can go ahead and cancel the units. And we're left with uh, grams and moles, which is exactly what molar mass is, grams over moles. Let's go ahead and solve a step further. Um, hmm. 58.1 grams per mole. Yep, sounds about right. And then the question, however, asks uh, for the molecular formula. So in combination with the empirical formula and the molar mass, what we can do in order to find the molecular formula is find out the molar mass of the empirical formula, and then we're going to divide the molar mass by the empirical formula mass. And uh, doing so, it'll give us an integer, and then we're gonna multiply that integer by the empirical formula but instead of just saying, I'll show you because it makes more sense. So C2H5. So carbon has a molar mass of 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 
hydrogen has a molar mass of 1, 1 times 5 is 5. Together, they are 29. And then, so like I said earlier, what we're going to do is we're going to divide the molar mass that we found here by the empirical formula mass. This will give you about 2. So then we're going to go ahead and multiply the empirical formula. by 2, and then that will give us the molecular formula. So C4H10 is our molecular formula. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, peace.